and Chankalai and Nacho Heel, younger brother of Carlos, making their first starts of the season and only one regular starter in Romney on that back line. And regardless, if they're playing at home or away, this is a high pressing, high energy team. I expect that from the start tonight. The partnership of Nilis and Don, who is now taking over, of course, George Petrovic off to Chelsea. So this will be a big test in goal and on defense for New England as that is taken away. Yeah, Ulster stepping in. That has been the missing piece for the Red Bulls. Just easy giveaways once they do put the high press on. So we'll see Carlos Heel now. He'll take it himself and force Cornell into the save. He'll let that one through. Crowd sensing something brewing now. Revolution back to Carlos Heel, the shot off the crossbar, Polster just misses. Just didn't have the outlet pass, it, and that'll be the challenge throughout this match for New England as they wear on. Is there an outlet pass? Is this one close offside? Yeah, let's see. Brioni charging forward, has on his left. It's in if it stands. Brioni putting the Revolution out in front. Starts on the near side and then goes out to the other. And second thought does look like he keeps himself on side. Well done. And then what a finish that is. Just composes himself, gets beyond, slows himself down, takes a little second. There's a slow up. And then as the challenge comes, just unleashes to the far post. Ronell has nothing he can do as he's sucked over to that right side and just an excellent finish to tuck it in to the far post to put New England up 1-0 here at home. And you felt it coming. They hit the crossbar from Polster moments ago. Excellent work. You see the three players right now around Luquinhas not allowing him to get out of space. And he does well because he stays a hold of the ball, draws the foul right on top of the 18-yard box. It's going to be a dangerous free kick. But the commitment for New England to get players around him, deny the initial tack, and, and that's what this has been all game long. Another what you would consider a fairly needless push, but it's a quick restart. Will this have a better result for the set piece? There's a save. Edwards gets down to the ground to keep it out of the goal. Up to go fast in the set piece, and then it's just a cutting ball across, and they have four players inside the 18-yard box, and Edwards looks like he sees it a bit late through traffic as Polster's coming over. Now he'll try to help hold things down in the midfield as you can be sure the Red Bulls will be coming after the Revolution. Felt they had a better second half in their last match throughout the season, but obviously needing to step in on that back line, beset with injuries tonight. Three-time MLS Cup champion, Gonzalez. This ball sneaks through, Harks! Coronel! Got a little lucky there at the end from Ian Harks to understand where the space is. You can see at the top of his box, just splits the two defenders and then gets the, the attempt on frame all wrong. Doesn't get great connection after an excellent first touch to set himself up. Okay. Canadian International touches it forward. Polster back to Brioni. Easier shot with his left foot that time for Cornell to handle. MVP a couple of years ago for this Revolution side, continuing to show his value, and the referee hustles immediately over into this fray, which has started both teams in the mix. Mark Anthony K and Frankie Amaya having to be pulled apart. The first 10, 15 minutes of this half, he just breaks free, draws the two attackers, and then that is certainly a yellow card. shown after that little interaction bounce right back to him heel one move to get free another cross headed and out Hart's probably with an opportunity there to waste a little more time had he wanted oh, that's brought down beautifully Noel Buck Dangerous in this game, the Red Bulls on set pieces, they have the ability to be. Carmona takes a swing at it, bends it right into the gloves of Edwards. 
first of two consecutive home matches here at Gillette Stadium, and this one keeps that unbeaten record intact for the Revolution.